<laughs> so the joke here is I've stopped trying. <laughs> This must be... <laughs> Aw. I mean, not that I thought she had a bad character design, but I really like Ayaka's um, design right now. It looks cute. And you know where her eyes remind me of? They remind me, I'm sorry, of a color-bent Google Chrome logo look. It's a festival promotion! Hey, speaking of, we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in Inazuma! Did you want to go, Ayaka? N no! What made you think that? <clears throat> Festivals are a common occurrence here in Inazuma. We in the Yashiro Commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs. Each season brings its own festival, and each festival, in turn, brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions, for us, they are also a cause for concern. So... Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? Well, let's take a look inside then. I was just about to say that. Welcome. I have all the latest styles. Please take a look. Oh! It's Miss Kamisato, with guests from overseas. Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or for tailored garments? Oh, greetings to you too. I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh, Ayaka came prepared. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. This could be... Mm-hmm. It could be... Oh, <laughs> it's a very fine design. Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Ogura textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. Oh, no. Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk flower. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... Majority? As you well know, Inazuma is currently under a strict lockdown. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can still be of service. So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first? If even Ogura textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high-grade fabric, where would we buy it from? <clears throat> you could try the International Trade Association. They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times like these, though, we're lucky to even have an option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. Huh. So even just getting clothes made is an ordeal in Inazuma. Wait, the International Trade Association? That's Kurisu's thing, right? We haven't been to Rito in a while. Hmm. It looks like that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back once we've acquired the fabric. Oh, in the meantime, I have one other very small request. Could you? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kamisato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. Hmm. That's very kind of you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Traveler Paimon, let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. <laughs> Maybe she's making a gift for me. To be honest... I do hope you manage to get hold of your silk. Oh, that's it. Who said that? 
Was it you? Anyway. Hello, everybody. And <laughs> I'm technically welcoming back everybody. Ah, this is it. The International Trade Association. Okay, then. We need to talk to Karisu, right? Huh. Doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. Oh. Everything sounds kind of weird. Is it just me? I'm sorry. Ah, looks like we found him. Uh, what am I gonna do? What up, Karisu? Mr. Karisu, are you alright? Oh, you're Miss Sayaka from the Kamisato clan. How do you do? Better than you, it appears. Uh, and if it isn't the Traveler, I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? It sure has been a bit. Thanks again for your help last time. The Association is back in business, and it's all thanks to you. That's great, but, uh, why were you staring into space just now? Did something bad happen? Well, you see... <sighs> It's embarrassing to admit, but some of the Association's goods have been stolen by vagrants. vagrants. Which goods were stolen? It was a batch of high-grade silk. <gasps> we imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Recently, we heard that clothing stores in the city have more or less sold all their silk stocks. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage. Thinking it'd probably fetch a good price. <sighs> but then... Ugh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch, then disappeared into the woods. I'd report it to the authorities, but... <sighs> well, as you know, they don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. Well, I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods, please remember, Mr. Kurisu, that while you are here in Inazuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, my apologies. I had to let off some steam. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. <sighs> Perhaps I'm doomed to go bankrupt after all. I am afraid I can't intervene in an official capacity, but I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never... What? Wait, what? Huh? Really? Yes. Acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservations, so... I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside... As I'm sure you're aware, I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't gonna cause any issues... for you? What if someone high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a highly respected member of society. Surely putting your neck on the line for small timers like me can't be worth the risk. <laughs> Very humorous. Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kamisato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. Whoa. That sent shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Word. Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Thank you so much! Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um, uh... All right. Everyone, please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. Alright, off we go! Aye aye, Captain Kamisato. 
Alrighty, this is fun. A whole little police detective kind of thing. I don't know. Huh? It just feels nice. <laughs> I wonder how she really feels about this as a character. I can probably teleport. No, I can't teleport over there. Can I? <gasps> yes, I can! As per Kamisato Ayaka's request, you and Paimon help her prepare for her meeting with Tsubaki. The first thing that is needed is a specialty made garment. However, in present day Inazuma, the silk needed to make the garment is a scarce source. You get to work on resolving this dilemma. <laughs> Oh my god, is it the same guy from last time? I forgot I can't eat them. <laughs> Here we are. This is where we were robbed. Hey! Look on the ground! What are those? Footprints! Huh? Oh, footprints! Very deep ones at that. Leading towards the forest. Hmm. Presumably the depths suggest that they were carrying something heavy. Let's see where they lead! them. Stop, thief! <laughs> you think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? You must be dreaming. <sighs> Why, you? You better hope you have the courage of your convictions. <laughs> Why wouldn't I, old man? Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's gonna leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's gonna stick their neck out for the likes of you? I will. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that, no response. You know I'm right. Face it, this is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? You are despicable. Hey, I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? Business? Pay up, and you can take your fabric back. Sound good? If you ask me, it beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. <gasps> You're just a big bully! I... Oh, what choice do I have? Wait! Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. But... but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. Oh yes, of course! Right. Then please stand well back where it is safe. Main. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! Alright. Ayaka, you're my go-to girl. It's my lucky day! <laughs> I was simply doing my duty. Miss Komisato, 
Traveler, are, are you hurt? Don't worry, we're fine. I'm the not. The vagrants left in quite a hurry. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'd best do a count. Six, eight, ten. Yep, it's all here. Great! Now we can finally buy some silk. Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? This was indeed our intent. Mm. Don't get us wrong, though. That's not the reason we helped you out. Even if it were just a few carrots or cabbages, chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Chances. Paimon thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting silk in Inazuma would have been zero. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Please, say no more. You need silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Your finest silk. Poor favor. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. I could never ask you to pay after everything you've done for me. At least let me pay 90% of it. No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. Please, sell your wares to me at the price you would sell them to any other customer. There is nothing to feel distressed about, because nothing, I repeat, nothing happened here in these woods today, did it? Oh, just an uneventful stroll in the woods. Thank you, I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You have helped me greatly, and I will never forget it. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid we must part ways. I must get these goods back to the Association. If you ever need anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. See you then! Bye! Safe journey home! Don't go getting robbed again! <laughs> Ayaka buys the fabrics and Kurisu thanks. And Traveler, thank you for stepping in to help out. No worries. It was what I signed up for. But how come those vagrants didn't seem to know who you were? They must move in completely different circles. Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way, I'm glad they didn't recognize me. The fewer people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kurisu. It really shows what a great person you are. Oh, uh, your praise is quite unwarranted. I merely did what anyone in my position would have done. I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or social class. As far as I'm concerned, it was one individual helping another in need. I guess that deep down, I don't see how a society can be considered just when people encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. It's alright. Right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos and give our hard-won silk to the shopkeeper. I didn't really wait. Okay. I feel so bad for Kurisu because the man... Because you have to realize, I don't know how long he's been there. Uh, the Sokoku Decree's only been around for at least maybe one or two years. Like, because... <laughs> Oh, because lore-wise, we, we lore-wise, the first moment we heard about the Sokoku decree, it had already been well, or at least the Vision Hunt decree. No, I'm pretty sure it was Sokoku, Sokoku, Sokoku decree first, and then the Vision Hunt decree. It was at least a year to two years, and Genshin, and well, I mean that is real life-wise, the game's been out for about at least a year. So you could say it's been going on for at least two years now. But anyway, even before that. Apparently, um, outlanders and uh, foreign merchants are treated very poorly, so you can imagine how long he's been there, and just how hard it's been for him. He's probably had to deal with all that all the time, and he, he says it, we already know that he's been dealing with so much already. So it's kind of sad to see that he's just, he's and he's an old man, Carissa's an old man, he's just beaten down. He doesn't want to fight anymore, he just wants to, you know. Hey there, we're back! Welcome back! So, any luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? You bet. Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. You think? Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. Where? 
Oh, she's. They better all be there. I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you too. It's just, I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuma attire. Yes, uh, I mean it's a kind thought, but I'm fine with my current outfit. How dare you? Oh, are you sure? He's close. Like, blah, 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 blah. If I'm too concerned about my appearance, I'll lose my edge in battle. Shut up! These clothes are special to me. Is that so? Mm. Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. Hmm. More like when you're away from home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paimon would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Do they do Paimon sizes here? I'm pretty sure she's smaller. S sorry, I have gum in my mouth. Smaller than your average four-year-old. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> <sighs> Your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um, I can certainly find someone to tailor a Paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Oh, I should be a jerk. Thanks, but Paimon and I are fine as we are. <laughs> Ayaka, you're too kind. Hmm. Well, if you're sure. As you wish. Something else I've been wondering is... How do people in other nations dress? They dress very strangely. Actually, I can't lie to you, but the people in Fontaine ve dress very stylishly. I like it. Hmm. They sure do. Each nation has its own unique style. Traditional, fancy-schmancy, casual... All very different, but each style is suited to its region. The study of clothing is a profound discipline, and I still have much to learn. When clothing becomes part of the expression of one's personality, even an extension of one's body, that is quite a wonderful thing. So I am not against dressing up. Far from it. Paimon agrees. You couldn't have put it any better. Paimon... You're so adorable that you could wear anything and it would look lovely on you. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Paima just got a compliment! Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Ooh. Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. How... Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area! We don't want to leave any loose ends! <laughs> There will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm, perfect. I'm getting a little hungry myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Yep, yep. 